When you meditate, you're creating a home for the mind. And so does your home look like a home, or is it, what is it? Is it a bus station? Everybody can come in, everybody can go out and do whatever they want. First principle of a home is that you have walls to protect you, a roof to cover you up, and windows and doors that you can open and shut to let in the things you want to let in and not things you don't. Then you need someone to stand at the door. If, you're, if your home is really going to be safe, you need mindfulness. Mindfulness is often understood simply as being aware of what's happening, but it's actually being able to remember who you should let in, who you shouldn't let in. The Buddha gives this analogy, and mindfulness is like a, a gatekeeper at a fortress on the frontier. And our frontier fortress is in danger because people from the other country can s try to sneak in. So you need mindfulness to be there at the door. Be there at the gate, let in only the people he knows and not the people he doesn't. In the same way, you have to be very careful about what you're looking at, what you're listening to, why you're looking, why you're listening. Because when you do that, you're opening up the doors and all kinds of things can come into the house. Birds and animals, and then they move in. They don't like to move out. They're comfortable there, and then they take over. Is that what you want? So you need somebody at the windows and the doors to be very careful about who's coming in and who's not coming in. That's the duty of mindfulness. Even the good things have to know the right time. As the Buddha said, there are some qualities of mind that are basically skillful, but if you use them at the wrong time, they're not so skillful. Like when your mind is feeling really sluggish, he says, you don't want to emphasize equanimity or concentration. You want to stir it up. You want to think about things, analyze things for a bit to give the mind a little bit more energy. At the same time, when the energy is too high, you don't want to set the mind on to thinking. You want to calm it down. That's when you would emphasize concentration and equanimity. So you have to know what's the right time, even for good things. Say, come, don't come in and bother you at night or bother you during the middle of the day when you've got something else you're trying to do. So be very careful at, the, at your windows and doors. Of course, the big door is the mind. Because not only do things come in to the, to the, the house, but things go out of the house, and they can create lots of trouble for the neighbors. And once things are going out of the house, they've got the windows and doors wide open for all kinds of stuff. So when you're looking and listening, ask yourself, why am I looking? Why am I listening? Because a lot of things that, unless you were feeling lust already, or unless you're feeling greed already, or feeling anger already, you wouldn't want to look at. And yet under the power of these things, you find them really fascinating. Okay, That's something you've got to be careful about, too. So make sure you know when to open the windows, when to open the doors, what to let in, what not to let in, what to let out, what not to let out. That's one of the first principles in making this home for the mind a real home, not just a big open space where anybody can come trampling through. <laughs>